What's up, nerds? Welcome back to my channel, guys. <laughs> I am so excited for today's video. As you guys have with the title, I forgot I was wearing a bracelet, so now it's just like chaos. As you guys have with the title, <laughs> we will be doing my fall TBR. Oh, I'm freaking G. I am so excited. I love, 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 like, <laughs> I love fall. I do. And I love, like, the seasonal TBRs. Um, but normally, I just kind of give them and then, honestly, like, whatever happens, happens. Like, I don't normally stick to them necessarily but i'm like then what's the point of giving a tbr so um i have like wrote it all down because i have like my fall tbrr my tb red and then i have my physical tbr those are the books that i want to read before the end of fall um we're gonna put it in stone set it in stone <laughs> and hopefully we can read them all and then at the end of the season i think we'll do like a season fall reading wrap up like all the books i read from my um fall tbr so i felt like that could be fun and fresh i don't know let me know what you guys think <laughs> um but First, if you guys like fall TBRs, if you guys like fall, if you guys like other nerdy things, don't forget to video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button without further ado, let's just get started. Well, you would think that I'm, this is my first video. It's a little toasty in here, I'm not gonna lie, but I needed to put on a sweater for the fall vibes, I needed to do it. <laughs> so we have them, and I think they're giving, of course we've got the red lip on again, because you know I'm gonna get my use out of this while I can. While I can, we're gonna use it. <laughs> so we actually have 19 books, and I was like, Marissa, just make it 20. <laughs> so I'll have to add it when I, on my um, list here, because I did think of one. It's just wrapped in one of my wrapped books. You can see that I have those, and then some are on the bottom shelf. It's wrapped, so that's why I forgot about it. But honestly, let's just talk about that one first. Um, it's actually Crooked Kingdom by, what is her name? Lee Bardugo. <laughs> so this is the second book in the Six of Crows duology. I just have to like literally like put the pedal to the metal and finish it. It's literally a duology. There's no reason it should have been, I should have, the series should not have been finished <laughs> um, already. I literally had it for like four or five months. I don't know. It's been a long time <laughs> for no reason, but I really want to read that obviously before fall ends. I really loved the first one. Um, I just don't like the second one. It was interesting. I just had to, I don't know. It's just like, it wasn't just easy as picking up a book and like reading it. I feel like you have to be like in the mood for that kind of book. Um, but anyway, I don't know. I'm literally a hot mess. I also didn't tell you. If you want to check out, I did do a September TBR for the month of September. So I'm obviously trying to finish those books. I also did a to be reread. So books that I want to reread this fall. Um, if you want to look at those. <laughs> um, and then I also did some fall recommendations, but I'll be doing more. And then I want to do a Kindle Unlimited fall TBR. So lots of things going on. So again, hit the subscribe button if you're not and then go check out those other ones if you want to see um, those. Sorry, pause. <laughs> I always say this to my friends. I'm like, you know, like you can open a new tab on the like computer, like open a new tab in your brain. <laughs> Hold that thought. Now let's go back to the other tab. <laughs> All right. Next book we have, this is The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan. Honestly, I think I need to do like one of those like read it or unhaul it videos because I have no idea if I'm actually ever going to read this, but I really need to just get it off my TBR cart. I love Rick Riordan. He makes a lot of amazing stuff, but I love his specifically his Percy Jackson series. This series obviously does not have Percy Jackson. I'm sure it will just be, a, be just as good. Um, but then there's also a book that's like a crossover between these characters and Percy Jackson. And so that was really the motivation to read this book. And that's why I, bo I got it. So I don't even know where I bought it, but um, obviously, like, it's falling apart. It's been on my TBR cart way too long. That's why it's ripping out the seams. So I need to read this. Oh my gosh, or get rid of it. I don't know. We started with the. <laughs> We started with a um a bad stack, but this is Dark Restraint by Katie Robert. So this is the I think seventh book in this series, maybe sixth or seventh book in this series, the Dark Olympus series. I'm honestly like just not excited about these characters. Um they're not my favorite characters. Um the thing is that they're one of the, the books at the end, I think it's gonna be like the freaking tenth book. So I'm gonna have to wait is um Zeus and Hera, and I wanna read that book so 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 freaking bad. That's probably why she's putting it off because everyone wants to read it so bad. Um so so this one I'm like I feel like I should read this because it comes in order but I just don't think I'm gonna read all the other ones before whatever long story short I don't know but I bought it so I probably should read it they're short they're quick um so I feel like I could I just have to again be like in the mood for it because it's definitely not like a just a quick read <laughs> like it's just a it's fun romance you know it's not like that <laughs> 
Then we have a Queen This Queen of the Spheres and Deadly by Stacia Stark. This has been on my TBR cart for a couple months at this point. Um, I want to read this. I do. I want to finish this series. That's what it is. But like this book, this series specifically wasn't my favorite or anything like that. So I have no drive to read like a 500 page book <laughs> that I may or may not like like because I feel like the the author made a decision in one of the other books that was just not my favorite. So now I'm like. <sighs> Uh, I don't want to read anymore <laughs> but I also part of me is like should I just reread all of them so that I remember what's happening here because I honestly don't have any clues so I'm like I don't know I don't know <laughs> I have a vague memory but um this one I think I want to put in a video like actually finishing series I'm in the middle of because usually we do that video and I never actually finish series but this one would be finishing out a series I think I think I believe um this one I kind of went back and forth because honestly like it has some like wintry stuff on the back and so I was like do I want to read that in fall but I feel like the front has fall vibes I don't know I feel like this is giving fall and I don't think that there's anything like pertaining to the weather obviously I have no idea but basically this um best friend takes this girl sorry this girl's best friend takes her on a singles retreat but her future ex-husband decides to attend I said, mm, interesting, but this is also one of those like um, blind dates with a book that I got from the Ripped Bodice, and so I don't know anything about this author, and I like I have no idea how I feel. Um, so we'll see. I don't know, but I want to read it. <laughs> it sounds interesting enough, so I should just read it, you know. This one I'm actually excited about. So this is Most of All You by Mia Sheridan. Honestly, my fall TBR is a lot of fantasy, fantasy romance, darker romance even. Um, so uh, there's not a lot of just romance and I feel like there's not a lot of just like frolicking through the forest <laughs> romances or that I want to read in fall. But <laughs> this one I definitely want to read. I have no idea honestly what it's about though. So it could be a little bit darker romance. Um, but I don't, I have, so I have no idea. But um, I'm really excited about it. I know nothing about this book. We're going to go on blind, but I love Mia Sheridan. And I wanted to give some more of her books a try so I have this one so we need to read it this fall. Alright, so last on this, my second shelf here, <laughs> um, we have Harry Potter and, by J.K. Rowling. So this is The Order of the Phoenix. This is book five. Yeah, book five. I literally started it last year, literally last fall, didn't continue it and just like stopped and I need to just finish it. I want to read these so bad because I do love the Harry Potters and I feel like it is the perfect season. I think last year what happened is that I read them all so slowly that I started becoming not fall season anymore so then I stopped wanting to read them. Um, but now we have the time. We have oh, October, November. No, I need to read one in September, one in October, one in November. So that means I have to read this one this month. <sighs> that was not the plan, but we've got to add make it to the add it to the plan. <laughs> um, but I am um really excited about these. I do really love them. So I have this one as an audiobook already, so I literally just have to listen to it. Like that's literally it. <laughs> We're just going to slowly start taking off the top shelf. Um, first we have Collided by Lauren Asher. This actually is another romance that is like, I don't think it's going to be seasonal one way or the other, um, but it's another romance that's just romance. Like, I don't think it's dark romance or anything. I, it's not dark romance or anything like that. It's just sports romance, I should say. That's a better description. Um, but uh, I don't know. I really love the first one. So I really want to read this one. I just feel like these books are, I don't know, they're giving like wrapped up in a blanket, binge it out in one night kind of vibes. <laughs> but I have no idea. They could be like, I don't know what season F1 is. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> um, but it's fine. It's fine. I want to read this so bad. <laughs> And then, of course, we have The Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I was really excited about this. Then I saw someone who was like, uh, she just didn't love this. And I'm like, I don't really know who it was. So, like, I don't, like, trust their opinion. I trust you guys more. So, I'm still going to read this, obviously, try to prioritize prioritize it this fall but like I'm nervous so you guys might have to convince me again <laughs> to read this book um but I've heard good, great things so I need to just binge it out um and then I want to read My Roommate is a Vampire by Jenna Levine I'm just you guys know I don't like spooky scary I don't like anything like that but I feel like you know vampires Halloween like it's giving this is as far as I'll go this one should just be a fun um I think they called it uh this is a charming debut romantic comedy. Like, that's so fun and fresh. So I feel like it's a vibe. It seems like it's going to be quick paced, nice floppy book. Like, perfect. Give me a cozy blanket and let's binge this together. I ended up just grabbing some random books because I wanted to mention the uh, Brutal Birthright series by Sophie Lark. So this is Heavy Crown. This is the final book in the Brutal Birthright series. Just rip my heart out. Why don't you? It's crying <laughs> so hard. I just, I love this. I love this series so much, but I have yet to read this book. So I need to just bang it, finish it out. Again, I want to do a video actually finishing these series so that we can all cry together. 
you can all watch me cry <laughs> but here come to find out come to find out they all have children <laughs> so i'm actually pretty sure that leo the character main character from this one is actually sebastian and um yelena's son so i think that it's i think it's literally um i don't know but i don't know could be wrong anyway leo and um i don't know some other characters this is basically like a mafia school like all the kids from this series go to this school and i'm like really excited she's gonna have to redo these covers like <laughs> you're just gonna have to these are incredible so i don't know we'll see but i am so so excited i need to read both of these obviously um i want to read both of these on honestly i was like part of me is like oh my gosh like i want to just jump to this series but i have to like marissa finish this book <laughs> and i will i will I also want to read Legend Born by Tracy Dion. You guys recommended this to me as well. I'm just like, I'm reading a lot of YA. There's a lot of YA on my TBRs, all of my TBRs. <laughs> and um, it's not always my favorite genre, so I have to like space it out correctly. Right now, I just read like three or four YAs back to back. So um, this one's good. It's going to be a while before I read this one. I'm not going to lie, but I want to try to obviously finish it before the um, fall is over. Um, what the heck was I going to say? Um, oh, I also want to, like, finish a bunch of series, too, because I'm starting so many new ones, um, and so I just have to, like, it's a balance. It's a, it's a, it's a dance. It's a balancing act. <laughs> but I do want to read this. I honestly have no idea what this is about. Um, I'm wondering if it's kind of similar to, like, Renegades-ish. I don't know, though, so I guess we'll have to find out. Um, I also want to read book two in the Prison Healer, Healer trilogy. This is The Gilded Cage by Lynette Noni. I'm, like, nervous, but I'm also so excited. Like, honestly, like, my heart was just, like, <laughs> because the ending of Prison Healer is, like, I still don't, I still don't know how I feel, which I'm, like, honestly, I don't, like, that's incredible. Like, an author to have that much of a chokehold on me is insane. Um, so... I guess it's a good thing, <laughs> um, but also I just am nervous to start this book, so it might take a lot, of, like a big push for me to read this, um, but I just, I, first of all, I love that, but um, I'm really excited about it, so again, another YA series though, so it's like lots, lots of them. <laughs> All right, so then next on the stack we have Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J. Mass. I cannot believe I haven't read this yet. I honestly read the, um, did the tandem read like a month or two ago? Maybe a month and a half ago? I don't know. I did it already. I mean, I, yeah, I've done it and I'm surprised I didn't just start this right away. But I think I definitely lost the, um, the the push that I had because now I'm genuinely just nervous. So I did actually start this and I have just yet to finish it or just continue. I honestly, honestly read like maybe that much. I have no idea. The bookmark's not even in here anymore. So I'm just gonna have to start over. I literally bought it on my Kindle, has have it as an audiobook, and still have not bit has and I've still not been able to like continue it. So again, I need another shove, kick in the face, just to go. Um, so I don't know. This is a massive book and I like I don't want it to end, but I also want to just know what happens at the end. <laughs> um, because like the whole journey, I'm like, oh, it's gonna rip my heart out, isn't it? So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I need to read this though. I'm gonna read it. <laughs> These next two came out recently, so they're not really pertaining to fall, I don't think, but like they came out, so I want to read them. So first we have Daydream by Hannah Grace. This one again just came out, so I definitely want to read this before fall, if not by the end of the month. I don't know if I'll get there, but like it's like one of those things that you want to like hold on to because I have no idea if there's gonna be a next book when the next book's coming what what the whole DCT is like I probably have to wait a whole another year and so like I want to hold on to this story but I also want to read it and like know what happens but um it's just like I have to prioritize it of course I have to but I want to read that one this one is one of those uh, say honestly very similar except this one I know for a fact is the last book in this series <laughs> I'll cry right now. Like, I will cry. <laughs> this is The Devious Husband by Katherine Amara. You guys know my beloved Windor series. I love her so much. This is the final book, and I will cry my eyes out. Are you joking me? I will die. <laughs> um, but I'm so excited about it, and I just have to, like, pull the trigger. Read it. <laughs> and take my heart with it. I'm so excited about that book, though. I just, I have to do it. Um, then I want to read, this is Garden at Flats by Daphne Perry. This is the, um, next book in the Eden series. I honestly want to read this kind of soon. I'm thinking about, like, just, um, 
reading honestly reading it this week or something um because i'm just very excited about it <laughs> um and i've been obsessed with these series and i think this series just screams fall to me um because they're just like cozy there's always a little bit of a well the first two i read have, there's a little bit of a twist so it's not just romance there was like a little bit of mystery in the first one a little bit of honestly mystery in the second one too you're kind of like oh, what's happening like something was sus so it was fun and so I'm hoping that this one is just as fun and a little bit has a little bit of a twist to it as well. This is small town, very fun, very fresh. Family, love that for all of us. <laughs> Um, then we have The Ever King by LJ Andrews. I really, 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 really want to get to this series. Apparently it's a duology, which I did not know. Here's the kicker though. Apparently that they, you have to, there's a series before prior to this that they, the, some of these characters get mentioned in. And so my thing, like you guys know me, I just would rather read that series first, especially if I'm going to like the author or like, like the writing or love the series, might as well read it in order. So I want to read that series. That series is nine books long, apparently though so we're gonna have to like I think I'm gonna try to read like the first one and assess the situation if I feel like that series is like I don't love it or anything like that I might just like scratch that and just read this one because I know a lot of people just read this little series because this is the viral book one <laughs> right now um but I don't know we'll have to see it's giving Faye pirates I don't know but I I will have to see we'll assess the situation but I really want to get to this one Alright, then last but not least, we have All Roads Lead Here by Mariana Zipata. This is, again, one of those romances, I have no idea if it leans one way or the other. She is wearing, like, a beanie and a flannel in this picture, so I'm, like, could be giving, like, fall vibes, I don't know. Um, but I read, uh, wait for it, this past month, last month, and I loved it, so I'm like, ah, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, we'll see. I, I want, no, I'm gonna read it, but we'll see if I like it, because Mariana Zapata, honestly, I like more books than I don't like right now, so that's really good. I I just know that like there's a chance that I might not like this but we'll see I believe this is like single dad as as well because I think wait for it I mean I know wait for it was a single parent I think this one is also single parent but I think it's single dad so I'm kind of excited um a landlord <laughs> it's giving so I definitely want to get to this at some point obviously it's a chunker um but Yes. So this is obviously my fall TBR. I obviously am going to continue to do like my monthly TBRs, um, but I'm going to obviously try to prioritize some of these fall books. We also have the books that are in under my, um, the randomizer. I'm sorry, that are in, that are wrapped. Um, so the randomizer is going to have to still choose those books. Um, some of them, a lot of them are more summary though, so I have to like kind of weed through and try to pick out the more fall books. Again, I know for a fact Crooked Kingdom is in there, so that one is going to be a priority, but we'll see. So definitely stay tuned. Um, I want to do more recommendations videos as well if you are looking for more fall recommendations. So again, stay tuned for that. Let me know if you want to see more of those. And um, yes, <laughs> I will see you in my next one. Bye, nerds. <laughs>